I found some exciting new features in crypto and also just wanted to give you an update on the trade that I was doing yesterday and answer a couple of questions regarding where I see prices going and it will not be investment advice, just my thoughts. I'm Joanna Garzilli. This is Crypto Angel Network. Thank you for subscribing to the channel, for liking, for sharing, especially your comments. I'm going to go ahead and share my screen to let you see this feature that I am absolutely excited about in CoinGecko. And it is a, uh, we've got categories, right? So we've got categories by market capitalization. I just wanna go through this with you, especially if you are new to crypto, you will find this very, very, very helpful. And I feel that, I'll just say from, for me, how I'm gonna use this, I will definitely be using this part of CoinGecko. I use CoinGecko anyway for looking overall at market caps. And also I use coin market cap as well. They're both great in different ways. What is fantastic about this is that you can really see how the total value locked, what that is for cryptocurrency and blockchain at large. Now, someone, um, one of the crypto angels, you had asked me, what's the difference between a meme coin and a token. I mean, essentially all tokens are, uh, they're, they're, they're crypto that can be traded, that can be, you know, some of them can be staked, some of them are just to hold on to. some of those tokens come from staking rewards. Others, I think we're gonna see moving towards a, a currency, for example, eventually you would well i mean i guess now for it on on square or paypal or venmo you can pay using bitcoin you could say it's being used as a currency even though it is considered uh, a form of property and and i think this is an area that has to be decided within you know from the sec and then just the financial governance worldwide in terms of whether something is a uh, a currency versus an a, a specific asset and and what that means that realm within tokens so that's just my basic answer but obviously there is there is a lot more to that and and so you will see here the number one category for markets by capitalization is smart smart contract platforms that includes, for example, we can see these tokens here. We've got Cardano, we've got Ethereum. If we go ahead and click on that, uh, we have Solana as well. I, for a second, I didn't recognize the logo on that, but we, you can see here, here are the, here are the uh, top three at the moment, then followed by Chainlink, Avalanche, Polygon, Algorand, Stellar, and so the list goes on, but this just gives you an idea of how the entire blockchain ecosystem is being set up from our layer one to our layer twos to interoperability between different different ecosystems. And uh, we've got Harmony down here, which is doing so well at the moment. And for those in the Harmony community, we were talking earlier on in the year, I remember when Harmony was, had traced, was gosh, right around just over one, one and a half cents. And I do think that now that Harmony has gone up and tested almost 40 cents, that I am still holding to what I said earlier in the year, that I do believe that Harmony will break through a dollar before the end of the year. And one could say, well, how can that be? I mean, there's quite a way to go. But I think that the biggest run up, and I agree with and very much along, there's another channel called DIY Investing, Donovan Jolly, who does very, very good looking at stock to flow ratio and very good technical analysis. And I, and I've said this in earlier videos too, that I feel, I feel in alignment 
with that a lot of for me i come more at a gut instinct intuitive level and then i'll look at things on the technical analysis side but if one as other crypto angels have said here in the community if you zoom out and and i go with the that that overall sentiment my overall sentiment is there is going to be a uh, an echoing of a 2017 market cycle and it's going to get really wild towards the end could harmony go towards that say that two three dollar mark quite quite possibly maybe it'll go all the way up to test three dollars sort of like graph grt did when it came out on coinbase and coinbase pro back in december 2020 it had that massive run up so anything here, the way I look at it, anything for a longer term hodl, a lot of stuff that is here, um, again, my favorites, yeah, Ethereum, Solana, Cardano, Chainlink, Avalanche, Polygon, uh, you can't go wrong, Near. Uh, some of you really like Elrond. Uh, Iota, I just listened to a great interview recently from Ivan on Tech with their community. They're making really great progress. That's something that I would imagine would be a longer term hodl rather than just cashing out at the top of the market. Let me just go back again and um, we can see exchange based tokens here. For example, we've got Binance, we've got Uniswap. What's the third one? their um, FTX token because I know that from watching everything with the baseball and the World Series and they have these ads to the moon which I really like those ads and they're advertising FTX is advertising everywhere for baseball uh, pancake swaps sushi swaps synthetics network I mean a lot of this stuff that you see here will these projects be around in five ten years or will there be where we're talking about this wipeout from uh, where everything went bust from in the 90s with the with the internet I, I i have this feeling that it's going to be different right part of that story the narrative that i see out there is 90 percent of everything that was out there then went almost to zero and disappeared and i feel that this is very very different with DeFi and blockchain Right now, we are at close overall, what is it, around 8,000 tokens in total. And I think a lot of these obscure projects or these things that are DeFi, yield farming, go and stake your stuff, just go and stick it on the exchange and make money. A lot of those things I do think will fall apart. They are not going to sustain. But these projects, a lot of, I would say at least the sort of everything that I'm looking at here within this space uh and these in these top tokens for nerve finance is another one that i i have a good feeling of that's just like an intuitive hit i had i have obviously don't make your own decisions don't you know don't be like oh joanna says she thinks nerve finance is going to do really well um but my just instinct is i just i got just like a oh i got a really good feeling with that and i'm looking over here and i see it looks like it just pumped like crazy so maybe wait for the retracement on that before going into that so uh that is on the exchange tokens i'm not going to go too along in this video i just wanted to touch upon it a uh, decentralized finance here so again we've got uni swap in there uh what else we have we got where well, i guess there's an overlap in in tokens terra chain link hang on a sec what happened there? Yeah, Terra, Chainlink, Uniswap, Dai, um, Classic. Is that Ethereum Classic with a C? Um, I've never seen this. Lido, Lido, State, um, Ether, the graph. Graph is um, starting to. I know we got some retracement here, but I think that what I feel with the graph, and I've done a number of videos on this in the past, in the long run, graph is going to be. A player in the long run for five years from now they will be here and be really really strong and and then my gut instinct on this with graph is that when I look ahead sort of like five years from now I feel then they're gonna go through they're gonna overcome certain hurdles where they're focused on web 3 
and and then I just see them going like this meteoric rise like things really building momentum a snowball effect that is going to happen with them so that is standing out to me right now just a new sort of like intuitive hit download there then we've got the stable coins right the tether us dollar coin um uh, binance uh, Binance uh, Smart uh, Contract Coin. Uh, we got Binance Smart Chain Ecosystem. Anyway, you can just see here. What I love about this list is that if you if you look at, for example, and I've talked about this a little bit in the past of what our projects are going to be here for the long run, and I, I will be making more of an official announcement soon. But I have recently accepted a position as business development officer for a self-directed IRA company here in Phoenix, Arizona. And for those longer times when I look at what's a portfolio where one isn't touching that IRA and getting penalties, and when you have to hold for a period of time, this is where I would be going for DeFi for the long-term holds of things of what do I think is gonna be here. And this is where I would be putting in my IRA, which I can't wait to do, Solana, polka dot uh polygon i mean these things are i mean near to me i feel like these are all really really strong and are going to be here for the for the long run and then you've got sort of like these categories within categories i'm not going to go to but you can see manage central land here we've got sand that's in metaverse um oh we've got sand here in gaming we've got the terra i mean there's just so much good stuff avalanche and and this harmony ecosystem uh, we got Oracle. I mean, it's just, I love what CoinGecko has done here in terms of uh, creating this uh, this bigger picture and, and then just making it easier to follow and to understand so that you have a certain area of interest that you can go and follow that. Let me just uh, go forward again a step here. What just happened with that? Um here we go category oh here we go yes so in these categories so i really like this you let me know in the comments what do you think do you resonate uh with this what do you like about this how would you be using these new coin gecko categories to do your trades or to follow the market to look at what's happening are you gonna just rely on this uh data uh one of the things that i do really like with this as well let's say for example let's just go to Harm harmony ecosystem here i think let's say for example if you are looking to do swing trading or you just want to be able to get i guess more value and you didn't get in at harmony at five cents or ten cents and now you know it's in the where are we right now 29 cents it's retracing a little bit, but then it'll move back up again. That's where one can look at things. I know a number of people here in the Crypto Angel Network have talked about One Moon and how they like that very much. And you can see here, it's like, you know, I think that it's just gone up 28%. But this could be a really exciting opportunity to go into One Moon. And I'm just curious, One Moon, is that on gate? just want to see if that's on gate this is the exchange that i like using for all these tokens where i don't go and do it on hmm i guess my moon is not on there yet harmony one it's not on there yet if you do decide to do any trading on gate io my link is in the description and we get to go and share in that uh, rebate, that commission rebate from those trades that are done. I, I Also, one last thing here is I just wanted to share, I did a video yesterday on Kishu for the Kishu lovers, and I was talking about the trade. I was looking at an entry point of uh, zero, what was it, you know, the eight zeros, and then um, five, nine, nine, nine. And then sometimes I, you know, sometimes I just, one doesn't know if something's going to fully retrace, how much it's going to retrace or whether it's going to bounce. And in the end, what I ended up doing was I got impatient 
and I went in and my trade went through at 7177. That was the ent that was the um, entry point I went in at. And so we can just see again, Kishu pumped so much last week. It did so well. And right now it's retracing. It's down what, 38%. But this is just consolidation from the pump. I mean, this is what I think from my experience now from doing a number of, of trades. Uh, it's now if one is looking to go into it now is a good time to go into it. And it looks like it's bouncing here slightly, but it, we're still on this. You can just see we're still on this downward trend. And because we're on this downward trend, I, probably are we probably going to bounce around 5579. Five, if it doesn't bounce at 5579, five, it's going to go lower. Um, but I just didn't want to go see if I was going to go in at 5959. Five, Five nine, where is that? Five nine nine nine. I mean, we're just right above it. There's a good chance it's going to retrace, but I just don't want to get so picky over it in the long run. It doesn't matter unless I guess one is doing a much larger tra trade. But if you're DCing in, it doesn't matter. Same with Harmony. You no, know, Harmony is having a. Uh, it's retracing right now, so it feels like you know are things going to be higher by the end of the year with all of all of these tokens i imagine so if i just pop over i'm going to just pop over to harmony one to see see harmony one had really pumped it's sort of like echoing it throughout these different tokens and right now it's trending down so with harmony we're looking at probably we have to see if it's going to bounce at around 28447 you can see where there was like that flash crash back there at 28 507 so if um if one was going to do a, a limit order i would say that bounce i would go in right above and go in at 28 28.6 probably 28.6 if you were going to wait and it went below 28.6 then just figure that it would go even um where could it go down to then? Maybe down, then the next markdown would be around 24 and then 22. That's a worst case scenario. Then it would start to move to the upside again. But uh, you can see there's pretty strong support here at 28,764. Overall, there's actually very, very strong support. And then I think it'll start moving back up again. And the last thing I'm going to look at here with you is Doge, because some people have been asking about that as well. And so many good tokens, but we can see here with Doge, what are these numbers here? Um, let me just move myself here. Okay. 33, it was up at 33. It's consolidation right now let me go to a 30 minute let me just go to that and we can see where hang on a sec let me just move myself over here so on this let's just zoom out a little bit uh yeah we're trending down still a little bit more consolidation so with doge let's see 26 7 are we waiting so like probably so i'd go maybe 26.8 if one wanted to put a limit order in on that otherwise you can just see it, it still seems to be holding and consolidating a little bit instead of trending down right it rallied up a little bit but you could say well that's a, a lower high and if that's the case just above 25 would be the next point uh, to enter if it goes below 25 then we're going to trend down again maybe back to 1920 but I do think that that next move up when it really starts to rally again and I have a very strong again this is my intuitive hit that Doge is it's going to have because um, we for people who went into Doge earlier in the year um, you know and they got stuck got so they went in at the top i would say to those of you who went in doge at the top do not despair hang on in there it's gonna go back up to its former all-time high 
And then from there, this run up at the end of the year, I, I mean, why would Doge not go to, um, it's definitely, I, I, I will be shocked if it does not go over a dollar for the end of this year and more likely to go sort of to even maybe all the way up to $3, similar to Harmony. So those are my price predictions. We'll see if that outlook stays the same, but that's what um, what I am feeling with Harmony, with Doge, and um, uh, with Kishu, I think that we're gonna have, towards the end of the year, quite a longer run up. And someone had asked me, am I would I be selling my Doge at the end of the year? Would I be selling my Kishu? Because I'm going in at this point now, um, and I think even when the bear market does come next year, if one has gone into these projects prior to the crash earlier this year in 2021, or even going in now, right through October, beginning of earlier this first couple of weeks in November, even say when there is a bigger bear market that comes in 2022, you're still gonna be in profit. So you, you would just have to decide, do you wanna take a certain amount of profits? But I think that it is as these ecosystems are developing at large that um, you know holding longer term on these projects they're going to be here and they're going to gather solid footing and to if one can have the patience and you have the nerve for it then stick with it uh, and obviously do not have in more than you can afford to lose. Let me know what you think in the comments. What are you doing? What are you loving? What are your thoughts for the market at the end of 2021? And I look forward to us having a chat about that. I'm Joanna Garcilli. This is Crypto Angel Network. And thank you for subscribing to the channel and for liking the video if you haven't already. And I am sending you lots and lots of love.